All right, guys. Today I'm gonna do a pick a card reading. Uh, I really like doing the pick a cards because I feel like you get to choose. Um, sometimes we're drawn to certain cards, or certain cards are trying to give us information, and we kind of feel that pull, like, oh, I want to know what that is. Um, that kind of thing. I also wanted to do it because I do feel like um, we make decisions every day. We're constantly having to decide something one way or another, but I feel like there's some decisions that or choices um, that kind of linger way on us. We, we think, think about it. Sometimes we overthink it too much. Sometimes we try to ignore it, procrastinate, and not pay attention to it so we don't have to think about it, but it's still there. It's still weighing on us. So today I want to do this reading. If you have a decision that you've been thinking about, you're trying to decide how do I choose, uh, how do I proceed forward, what path do I take, this reading I'm going to give you an overall guidance for the decision or choice you're trying to make. I'm going to tell you what it is that you're wanting or thinking about, um, trying to decide from, and then I'm going to tell you something um, that is important to you that you value that can help you decide which choice to make and then i'm going to give you two likely outcomes so you'll have likely outcome number one likely outcome number two and again it's just to kind of give you so you can see it from maybe different perspectives all right so let's get started so this is going to be one two and three so if you picked card number one, card number one is the Maiden. Um, the Maiden, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about at the end of the reading, just so you can kind of help again loop it all together. And again, she's going to give you like an overall uh, guidance to help you decide which path to take, which uh, way to move forward. So the thing that you're wanting or you're trying to decide on or you're trying to... Um, you know, how do I proceed forward kind of thing. You got the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, to me, you can see he's sitting cross-legged. He has his arms crossed. He's got three cups down here. Um, he's being offered a cup, but he doesn't really seem interested in any of the cups. So I feel like, to me, it was, um, you have a decision or a choice that you're trying to make that you wish had a different outcome. So I feel like you can see what the outcomes are, which path you take, how it's going to turn out, but you're wishing that there was a different one at the end of that. Alright, something that you value, um, that's important to you, that can help you with this um, decision or choice you're trying to make, you got the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is, of course, secrets, mystery. Um, but to me, she's intuition. Um, she's saying, trust your intuition, trust your gut. Um, so I feel like if it's something that's important to you, you value it, then it is important to you that you are able to trust your gut. Um, you're able to kind of sense uh, which path to take. So to me, that tells me that regardless of what these two outcomes come out, I feel like you kind of already know what path to take. But your likely outcome number one, if you make choice number one, you got the moon. So the moon to me is ups and downs. It's very much, I always think of the, the ocean and the tides and it's pulling in, pulling out. Um, it's emotional. Um, it does say deception or delays. So I feel like with option one, it is, hi Spencer. It is possible that um, there'll be some delays. There'll be some sort of, um, there could be some sort of deception. Um, I feel too like with deception with this one, this might could be like you're trying to fool yourself card. Uh, this could be like, um, let's say just an example, I want to go ice skating. I've never ice skated a day in my life and I'm just like, I'm just going to throw these ice skates on. I'm going to go jump on this lake and I'm just going to go skate away. And so I'm kind of being, um, deceiving myself. I'm kind of thinking that I can do this without any practice, without learning, without any effort, um, and that kind of thing. So I feel like uh, this option is very much telling you that um, you might not be um, being honest with yourself. And then likely outcome number two, if you pick the other option, uh, you got the Queen of Swords. 
so the Queen of Swords is very authoritative. Um, she's very in charge. Um, she is a very self-confident. She is very independent. So I feel like if your choices give you the option of um, do I want to be up and down or do I want to be assured? Um, this is this is a shaky foundation. This is a solid foundation. And then your main guidance, the card that you picked, the maiden. Uh, the maiden is a young girl. Uh, you can see her walking on her path. She doesn't know where this path is leading, um, but she's going for it. She's barefoot. It, I feel like I'm very carefree, um, confident. Again, the maiden is also independent. Um, so I feel like it's telling you whatever choice that you're having to make here or whatever path you're trying to choose from, um, pick the one that you feel more confident about. Pick the one that you, uh, your gut is telling you that you are going to be um, self-assured, you're going to be independent, you're going to be powerful. Alright, so I hope that helped you with your decision or choice, group number one. And now we will read group number two. So group number two was the masculine feminine. That's one of my favorite cards. <clears throat> and again, I'll go over what masculine feminine guidance is for you. And it will help you kind of put it all together and maybe make a decision. So the thing that you're wanting, um, the kind of um, the decision you're trying to make, the, you know, how do I proceed forward? You got the ace of pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles does say money is coming. Um, so it, this could be, um, Pentacles are about your things. Uh, Pentacles are about like physical things, um, things in, in this life. Um, so I feel like this is, um, this could be a new love. This could be a new job, a new career, a new place to live. Um, this could be any of those ideas but it's new it's something new it's something different so I feel like the decision you're trying to make or something that you're wanting to decide which path do I take is um, kind of a new idea or kind of a, a new place a new job like I was saying or um, do I stay kind of thing do I just keep comfortable um, and and stay where I'm at and then the card that you got to show like what your values are, what's important to you, what can help you with that decision, you got the King of Wands. Uh, the King of Wands is a leader. Um, he's um, also authoritative. Um, he is ambitious. Um, he's like a take charge kind of person, an action person. He's going to do what it takes to get the job done. Hard work. Um, that kind of thing. So I feel like those things are important to you and they can help you in um, whatever path you decide to take. So a likely outcome number one, if you decided to go this way, uh, you got the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands to me was kind of, it does say travel. Um, so if this is about a job, this could be something like, um, do I take this job that I'm going to have to travel more? I'll get to see more things, that kind of thing. Um, but I also got that it's he's surveying. He's looking out over everything um, that he's done, that he has. And he's kind of saying, um, am I content with this or am I ready for something new? So I feel like this is almost like an inaction. So this is almost like if you don't choose the new job or the new career or the new move, that kind of thing. It's going to give you time to just kind of survey everything look over everything decide is that really the decision I need to be making and then if you go route number two uh, outcome likely outcome number two you got the knight of wands uh, the knight of wands is um, there's news coming he it says important letter uh, so I feel like if this is about a job um, and you don't get this job or uh, you decide not to go after this job, it's going to give you more time to kind of think over what you are wanting and what you are looking for. And if you do decide to take this job, you're going to receive um, like in a form of a letter, something, some news will come in the form of a letter. All right, and then for your guidance to kind of help you, again, decide which path to take, you got the Masculine Feminine. Masculine Feminine is an easy card for me. It's very much about balance. 
Um, we all have masculine and feminine in us. I feel like it's very important that we know that. Um, if we don't, if we're masculine, we don't need a feminine. If we're feminine, we don't need a masculine. We have all these. Um, masculine is more about protectiveness, um, protective uh, kind of energy. And feminine is more about a nurturing, caring, supportive kind of energy. We need both of those things. You, you can't have, you can't just be like, I feel like we can't just choose one or the other. We we need both of them. But we're we're created with both of them. So I feel like it's just saying you need to find balance. Try to try to balance your protective nature and try to and try to balance your nurturing nature. Try to balance like when you take action, when you don't take action. Try to balance things that you create um, and also things that you destroy. So find balance in everything that you're doing. You can't, the tr whole trick is to balance it out. You can't have too much of one or the other. So I hope that helps you make your decision or decide which way to proceed forward. All right, now we will do group number three. And group number three got the nine of air. And again, I'll tell you at the end uh, what the Nine of Air kind of represents as a guidance card. The thing that you're wanting or you're trying to sign on or how to, which path do I take, which way do I go, you got the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is, um, to me, like, so it says nothing more can be done. So to me, I feel like you're either trying to make a decision do i keep going do, do i keep doing more do i uh stop now do i change my path do i change my route or do i stay on this path um so with the eight of cups it's kind of a feeling of you want to be absolutely sure that you have done everything you possibly needed to do um before you made the decision or before you took the new path um, you just want to know that there was nothing else that could be done. Um, this was the the almost like you want to be left with no choice. You just want it to be the way it's supposed to be. Um, the card that you got for your values or what's important to you, you got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is love. Um, love is important to you um it's it's gentleness it's caring it's motherly um it's support full support so i feel like those things are important to you and that can help you decide which way to go so likely outcome number one you got the page of cups so the page of cups um it says good news um, Page of Cups is also like new love, uh, new ideas, um, new opportunities. So I feel like if you do take this route, then you're going to find yourself having new, there's going to be a new love or a new idea or a new um, situation, a new opportunity, a new creative opportunity. And then if you decide to take your option number two or your route number two, uh, you got the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is, um, to me, it's always having the upper hand. But this time, I kind of got um, at what cost. So if you do go the other way, you could come out having the upper hand. But you have to ask yourself, at what cost do you want to have the upper hand? And then your guidance to kind of help you decide which route to go, you again got the nine of air the nine of air is all about imagination it's all about endless possibilities it's about um making sure that you know that what you think uh, what you believe you create um so uh, to me it's a lot of, that to me is like saying uh think positive have a lot of positive thoughts and you're going to have positivity in your in your life in your world if you think negative you're gonna have a lot of negative negative things. I know that's way easier said than done. Um, I struggle with this myself, but I feel like um, someone recently taught me to replace my negative thoughts with a positive thought. So I feel like we're gonna have negative thoughts. They pop in, um, I feel like, I don't wanna say we can't control them because we can, 
but if one pops in there and you have this thought and you're like oh i shouldn't have that's a negative way of thinking just replace it with a positive one just be like this is what i'm going to replace that thought with and when you're leaving that situation or you're moving on and you're going to think about something else you've left it on that positive note all right so group number three i hope this helps you make a decision helps you decide which path to go forward thanks everyone for joining me and thanks everyone for your support have a great day